Hey YouTube, ET2800 printer, and this is how it prints at the moment, to the test page. So what happened, I believe uh, it ran out of ink, and it was refilled, but now that's what happened. So I'm going to try to get it fixed, if possible. Uh, just to mention that power cleaning was done several times already, and... Uh, head head cleaning but it did not solve the issue so i'm gonna try to remove uh, uh, the print head and clean them up see how it goes the the head that head inside will not move if you turn the printer by the power button so if you press the power button turn the printer off you open it up you're not going to be able to move the head so uh, do not turn it off. Just unplug the power, and then the head, you know, the head to access those uh, the, those cartridges. You will be able to move the that head, that moving head that goes around. So, make sure to unplug the power. Do not turn it off by the power button. Otherwise, you will not be able to move that container head. So, in order to remove the printer head, what you need to do is to undo a couple clips here. This is the one right here. Okay, and there is one right here. So you have to undo this clip and that clip. Okay, like that. Now you have to undo. There is another plastic that's hold the the lines in place. So what you need to do is kind of. up this goes up and slide it so the grooves can get free let me see yeah because you can see there are grooves here so you have to undo the grooves and the third one and the third one will just and will get free after that like that or like this okay so these are undone. Now you can free up the hoses. And there's uh, there are print heads. And they just kind of unlock them from the back and see if I can remove it. Here we go. Okay, so just the containers, we'll see. So here is what we have, basically, I think I see the issue. We do have ink here in the containers, refillable containers, but if you look at these containers inside, next to the head, That's how it looks. And this is wrong, basically. They should be filled up as well. The black ones kind of filled up, but all the rest, they just don't have enough ink in them. So I assume it's some kind of a, basically an air bubble here. See, they're kind of empty. So that's what we need to do. I need to somehow fill them, fill them up, and that most likely will fix the issue. We'll see. So here's what I'm doing. I'm using the syringe to draw the uh, the ink into the into these cartridges. Basically, I already did the blue one, and you want to make sure when you do that, you want to make sure you know it's they like kind of level, and you put it back without without. turning them upside down okay so basically I'm just drawing the ink inside
here we go, it's going in. Loser. Can dispose of this thing. Now carefully put it back on. Do it basically with every one of these. Then reinstalling back this cover, make sure to put these two uh, plastic tabs inside the groove first. It has to go inside the groove and then latch it in place. Okay, that's it. Okay, so after I sucked out all the air out of those uh, containers, uh, I nothing actually changed. But after that, I did another power. Uh, let me see what it is. I did another power cleaning basically. And after the power cleaning, it came out like that. And this is what else came out of it. So it looks like the piece of paper was stuck on those heads too. But also at the same time, it was probably not drawing the, uh, the ink. And after I did the power cleaning, it came out like this, the first power cleaning. Then I did the nozzle check. And by accident, I actually did another power cleaning. But after second power cleaning, which you should not do, within 12 hour period, but I, by accident I did. This is now how it came out. Everything looks beautiful. All right, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this will help you in some way and have a great day, guys.